Hey, what's up Rockstars? This is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest. It's been a while. And today, this video is our f my first sponsored video of all time. And I'm really proud uh, that I'm making it right now and that some people are going for this. And if you are interested in sponsoring a video, um, of, of which the content can be anything you choose, whatever song by whatever artist or whatever musical topic uh, you want to know about, Message me if you're interested and we can talk about it, okay? So let's get on with it. Uh, this song is uh, called New Age Girl and it's about, by a band called Dead Eye Dick. And um, I remember this song from the Dumb and Dumber soundtrack, one of my favorite movies of all time. Me and my brother watched that movie like, I don't know, 12, 13 times <laughs> together. Um, and uh, we know almost every line in it. So, um, anyways, uh, this is on that soundtrack. And uh, it, so here's the riff, the main riff. We'll try it again. Uh, okay, there it is, two times in a row. So what you want to do is you want to start on your open A string. That's the first note. Then you want the fourth fret and the fifth fret on the same string. Okay, that's about half of the riff. Now you're going to the sixth string, second fret. And you alternate that with the third fret. And that would be the second fret on the A string. And then back to the open string. Okay? Those are all the notes. Okay, and that riff happens all the way through the verse. And the pre-chorus is just one chord. It's an A sus two chord. In tap talk, that would be from the fifth string, you got uh, zero, two, two, zero, zero. A sus two chord. You play it from the bass strings to the treble strings the first time around. And then the second time you hit it, you're gonna do a reverse strum. Okay? And then after that, you are into the chorus of the song. And the chorus. It's just three chords. You got an E chord, you got an A chord, and you have a D chord. All right? And if you don't know those chords, I'll go over it. An E major chord and tab talk from the sixth string would be zero, two, two, one. Cool. And then the A chord is from the fifth string, would be zero, two, 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 zero. And then the D chord from the fourth string, or you can play it from the A string if you wanted. From the A string would be zero, two, sorry, zero, zero, two, three, two on the last string. Okay? And uh, if you've gone over my videos before, I've talked about common fingers when using chords. And basically, when you have an E major chord, an A major, and a D major, uh, you can keep the first string on the third. Str you can keep the first finger on the third string the whole time. Okay. So here I have the first finger on the third string, and then I'm playing the A chord with fingers two, one, three be from the fourth string up. Two on the fourth string, one on the third string, three on the second string. Okay, and then the D chord, just like you're used to playing it, one, three, two. And then that way the first finger works out to the third string the whole time. Okay? So basically, 
uh, I'm using check out my strumming techniques videos too if you have questions about how to move your hand okay because it explains that in depth and I think it's a fantastic system for organizing your right hand movement okay um, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this video okay but basically what I'm doing you hit the first hit on a down and then when you switch to the A chord it's So basically the first hit is a down, and then everything else starts on an up. So it's like Okay, once again, check out that strumming video if you have questions about how to move your hand. Uh, but that's it for uh, most of the song. Next part up uh, is the bridge, and we have some different chords and kind of a, a burn in solo in there. So here it is, check it out. All right, so the solo begins with, well, the bridge. The bridge starts with some different chords that we didn't have before. And those are F chord, C chord. G chord and a D chord. Okay, so F and tap talk from the sixth string would be one, three, three, two, two. Sorry, that would be one, one. So one, three, three, two, one, one. That's an F chord. C would be three, two, zero, one, zero. G two, sorry, three, two, zero, zero, three, three. The G chord, and the D chord. We already went over in the last section, so uh, basically we have two beats each chord. And then the second time around, we're gonna have more of the D chord. Two, three, four. Uh, yeah, so you kind of want to build up on that last D. So you're like, here's the last time. One, two, three, four, five. And then that's where the solo begins. Okay? Make sure you listen to the song and check out what they do with that D chord uh, and, the, and the G. So it's extra, it's an extra two bars, basically. Okay, so now, now for the solo. I'm going to... Teach it to you one phrase at a time. Think of it as one musical sentence at a time, all right? So here is the first phrase. Okay, so I'll go over that slow. Starts on the G, pull off from five to zero, then go to the A string. That's the fifth fret, third, pull off to zero. Okay, now this little part, that part was a little bit elusive. Um, I just, there, there are two parts happening during the solo. There's the rhythm part that's going like, right, that part. And then there's the actual guitar player that's playing the solo. He's doing something a little bit different. And right there, I couldn't really tell what the lead guitar is doing there. Um, so I just went with what was most forward in the mix, and that was, and then right about here, you can hear the lead guitar player again. So all together we got, alright, that is the third string, fifth fret. Okay, then the next part goes. What I'm doing there is I'm using a drone string. The first string is going to be your drone string, and then you're going to play notes on the second string. So what a drone string is, is basically it's a string that you're playing all the time. So I'm playing both the second and the first string. Uh, starting on the eighth fret of the second string. Tenth fret. Uh, eight. Seven. 
five, three, two. So it's like. One more time. Okay, and you can use whatever combination of fingers is most comfortable for you. The next part, um, we got, oh. So this part is like, it's called double stops. And basically, it's just two notes at a time. So here I'm playing the third string, ninth fret, and the second string, tenth fret. With fingers one and two, as you can see. Then I move up to the 14th fret. I'm playing both of those strings with the first finger. Okay, both 14th fret. Then I add my second finger to the 15th fret. So all together it's like. All right, so coming out of the. Here you go. Now you're gonna do a, a a, kind of a bluesy lick. It's right out of the blues scale. And uh, if you know the blues scale already, that would be a great help. But here are the notes that you need to know from the blues scale in order to play this lick. So basically, you start on your fourth string, um, seven, 19th fret, and then third string, 17, 19, 20, second string on the 17th fret. And then uh, it would be the 20th fret on the second string. That's your highest note. And that's the one you want to start on. You're going to bend it, let it down, pull off the first finger and back. And then I'm going to the third string, and this, uh, fourth, uh, fourth finger pulling off to the third. Finger. So that's the 20th fret to the 19th fret. Okay? And then I do it again and go one more further down to the first finger and land on the lowest note and slide down. So all, all together, slow mo is like. Oops, can't see my finger, sorry. All right. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, here we go. So here's something right out of the pentatonic scale, a little bit lower. Okay. Basically, the pentatonic scale notes that you need to know are third string, ninth fret, second string, eighth fret, second string, tenth fret, and then. First string, eighth fret. Okay, and we're gonna go, we start with two of them at a time. So the notes on the third and second string. Okay. Then. So I'm going third and second string, and then both the second and the first string. Then adding my third finger to the tenth fret on the second string. Hammer on from eight to ten. Bend the tenth fret. And then eighth on the second string. Nine on the third string. All together it's like. Okay. And at this point, it gets a little bit easier, okay? So here, you're just kind of playing uh, chord notes. We have some interesting chord changes here. So we got seven. Uh, hammer off. So it's like seven, eight, seven. Second string, eighth fret. Third string, ninth fret. And then and then you got like a C minor sound. It's eight, eight, eight on strings three, two, one. And then 
another chord, it's like a B flat chord, seven, six, six. Then uh, another chord and F chord. So this is oops, five, six, five. Okay. So that's again, it's like. Then you want to go down to a D chord. Okay, so I'm playing a D, one and a two and a three and a four, and, and then I'm going to up a little bit higher to another voicing. That'd be the third and the first finger on the second and the first string on the seventh and the fifth fret, respectively. Uh, and then we're going to go one and two and stop on three. That's the end of the solo. All right. Kind of a long part. I think I'm going to separate this from the rest of the video, and you can check it out. Um, whatever you feel like it. All right. Peace. All right. So after the solo, you have uh, the chorus until the end, and um, it's a little bit longer than the choruses were before. But you can, you know. Uh, check it out yourself and figure it out with your bandmates how you want to play it and um, uh, if you have questions about the solo I suggest you grab a program it's free a free program called audacity that's been really helpful you can slow down the pitch of songs um, or parts of songs and you can loop them um, however many times you want and play along with it or change the pitch even if you want um, and it's completely free it's a really powerful program so if you have questions about that or uh, you know you're not able to hear all the parts that I talked about in the video make sure you grab audacity and slow down the song so you can um, hear all of that stuff going going by because it goes by pretty quickly so that's what I suggest uh, if you have any questions of course hit me up in the comments you're always welcome to do that or email me or you know at the information listed at the end of this video and uh, you're welcome to do that too okay i'm alex born cheers